What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. Beat the drum, hold the phone. There's new grass on the field. As they say, let's play two more league opening day, baby. Could not have had a more beautiful day to start the baseball season. It was beautiful out there. 75 degrees and sunny. Ready to go. Bats and balls. LB Polly, LB Milliken. A battle for third place already? It could be, yeah. Could be. On the pin mound for the uh, for the Jack Rabbits, Mario Gordon, maybe the best in the league. That seemed to be the consensus among the coaches we talked to. Also, one of the best in the league, one of the best bats, won five for the Rams. Absolutely, preseason All American, John Singleton, right there. Not going to see much to hit this year, though. No, he's not. He's uh, <laughs> it, That's got to be frustrating for a hitter of his caliber. The Rams do get two on in the first inning, but Gordon gets out of it with a pop out. So for the Rams on the mound, number 22. Josh Fry. Ooh, I think you'll be hearing more about this year. I think so, too. Fry gives up the swinging bunt, as they say, to a freshman Jeff Turley right dig here. That out. Good run. Two men on. He also gets out of trouble in the first. Interestingly enough, we thought this was going to be low scoring. It ended up being that way, but it looked like the offenses were ready to go early. It did, but you know, like the, both these coaches said, it's going to be a race to who scores the first run, and that is how it ended up being. Yep. Uh, in the second inning, actually, number 21, uh, Andrew Culliver gets the walk. Brandon Doplik follows that up with a single. Good single right there, right up the middle. And then Doplik swipes second, reads the move beautifully right there, grabs the bag, and that's going to open it wide up for the Rams on a mistake. Somebody was supposed to bunt right there. Yeah, it looked like it. And uh, they managed to get positioning. And the ball just popped out to the right of your screen. Yeah, Nico there. Santos did get that ball from Tommy Walker, but it just squirted out of his glove as Culliver ran by. And number two, Brandon Sadler makes him pay with a blooping single up the middle to make it 2 nothing Rams. Uh, they did continue to threaten in that inning, but a great defensive play right here from third baseman Tommy Walker for the for the Rabbits. He had two of those yeah, today. Yeah, he closed a couple innings today. Yeah, he did, and uh, and that, that was big because that kept the Rabbits in the game for a while, but Fry was just on fire, throwing the breaking ball for strikes and just touching his spots. Once they got those runs under their belt, he pretty much just rolled straight through to the end of the game, pitched a complete game for the Rams. And it, it rolled, he moved quickly. Very quickly. Well, yeah. We liked it. Sports writers always <laughs> appreciate it. But yeah, he burned through the uh, the bottom of their lineup pretty good. And when he was giving up contact, the defense was right there for him. The classic 1-6-3. Put him up, sit him down. Fry, like we said, the complete game. Seven innings, four hits, four Ks, two walks as the Rams win 2-0. I think it's cool. We're pitching at Blair because it's a better mound, better field, and you got all the stands. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. How's that? How's the team feel after a big win? I mean, to open the season. We feel good. We feel confident that we could beat every team now. But after that, I hope you stuck around because yeah. <laughs> uh, there's more baseball to be played here as Wilson and Lakewood. Lakewood, the projected number one finisher in the Moore League, and Wilson, the projected number two. So, like we said, perfect day and a perfect way to start more league baseball two years in a row Wilson has been playing in that final game in Dodger Stadium and this year the Lakewood Lancers have one thing in mind to get out fast and get in front of those defending national champions and I uh, can't say that they failed to do that no they did not because they've got their man Duffy on the mound number 22 Matt Duffy K's two in the first inning he was off and running and so was the Lakewood offense against uh, against number 12 uh, Josh Perez, the starter for the Bruins, the fill-in starter, really, for the Bruins, who are who are pretty banged up right now. But uh, but Duffy gets bumped right there after they put two on David Peters, number 24, makes him pay with the single right here. It's a, t a tough start for Perez, who's really, if uh, if Wilson was healthy, would be their number three starter, right? Yeah, right. And, and just gets down early against a good team. Yep, Steven Luna, number 30, follows that up uh, with a hot shot to second. Bobbled, they score two in the first. Uh, a nice play right here to get them out of that inning, but two against Lakewood in the first like that, immediately you're behind the ball. Especially when Duffy was on fire the way he was for the Lancers today. And Duffy was on fire for the Lancers today. Got guys so off balance, and uh, and like and like Fry in the first game, was spotting that fastball on the outside corner. And when the ball was in play, guess who stepped up? The defense, baby. The defense in these two games was the most impressive, I think. Yeah, well, both Lakewood and Milliken have probably, uh, well, easily the two most experienced defenses behind their pitchers, and it showed. Not really any mistakes back there today from those two teams. In the fourth, Tyler Schultz adds to the lead as he goes down and gets that one with the nine iron that he puts in left field. Coming to the plate, 
can't quite get him. 3-0, even that much more to climb back from. Yeah, and Wilson spent the rest of this game uh, trying to climb back in, but really, well, look, Spud's happy. When Spud. Spud's happy, all of Lakewood is happy. Hey, Spud likes it because, one, they show small ball right there, they load the bases with two walks, and Luna comes up and smashes one off the wall and right so they can go with the big sticks as well. His second and third RBI of the night. Luna, your offensive MVP, but your defensive MVP has to be Duffy on the mound as he only has seven pitches in the fifth, K's the side in the sixth, and the Lakewood Lancers win 5-2 to two over the Wilson Bruins. Great way to start the season for Lakewood, and for all of us, stay tuned to LBPostSports.com this season.